Um, I am Chanel and I am back today to um, to get some more things done for the multiple journals that I'm doing. So today I thought I would make some fabric um, pockets, uh, tuck spots, um, altered paper clips. I just thought I'd, I have loads of fabric and I don't use it enough in my journal so I thought I would um, use this opportunity to to show you how I do these. I was inspired from um, another YouTuber who was doing, um, <clears throat> excuse me, they were, I think they were tags or, um, they were either tags I think and they were fabric tags using your fabric scraps. Um, so I just thought, I mean there's lots of people out there that have done this so I, I'm not you know, I haven't created this. Um, I've just been inspired by other people. Um, excuse me one second. Um, <clears throat> always lose my voice when I get on camera. I do not know why. So these are super, super easy. And I thought I would show you um, how to make them. Now, you can um, make them with a sewing machine. And these ones have been done on the sewing machine. But you can, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can just do it with glue, which is the version I'm going to show you um, today. Um, just so that everyone at home, whether you've got a sewing machine or not, you can actually make these. And what I'm doing with them is I'm turning them into um, tuck spots like this. So I have already... Um, made a couple let me just grab them so I've already made that one and a little altered um, paper clip there and then another little that's gonna be a little tuck spot corner tuck spot and then another one there um, so I'm just gonna really show you how quick and easy they are so what I've done is um, took some uh, scrap fabric now this is this lovely, it's it's like bridal dress material, so I'm not sure uh, what it is. I'm not very good with my materials. It's almost like this satin, silk, taffeta kind of um, feel to it, but it's gorgeous. And basically all I did was just rip off um, a big strip. And then what, I, what you do, I have a, a container here full of, scraps of um scraps of lace material uh flowers it's got all sorts in here i mean you can just go crazy with your imagination as to you know what you put on them um now if you're doing the sewing version it's the same technique you just don't glue it down um what you would do is oops just get that like that what i do is i just get lace and layer it up so just pick, you know, what you're going to use, you know, play around, see what you're feeling. Um, let's have a look. Ooh, I'm trying to get my bits and pieces out of here. And of course you can cut bits down if they're too big. Um, and if you're doing it on the sewing machine, what I do is I just layer my pieces up and then I'll just stitch um all the way down and i actually do it three times if it's a big piece um if it's a little piece then um you don't need to do as much but we're going to do the glued version so what i'm going to actually do is cut this material down to the size that i actually want um so i think probably about there now i don't think this rips very well across one way so i'm going to cut it rather than mess it up so i've just cut my piece of um fabric and then we're going to just layer and have fun layering so now that's not long enough as it wouldn't be so let's find something to go on the bottom now let's have a look And just experiment, just, uh, you know, have a little muck around and see. Oh, I can't find me lace now. Let's, let's 
have a look and see what's coming here. <laughs> oh, okay. And then, do we want a piece of... There is no right or wrong, you know, you can basically, you know, do whatever you want with your, um, you know, your pieces. Hang on, let's just get my scissors, cut that off. And if you're gluing on, what I would do is just, you know, lay your pieces out, just, you know, think what you're going to do. And then um, what we're going to do is just glue these pieces down. I'm using Fabri-Tac because it is my favourite glue. I'm just going to take these bits off just so we remember where they've all gone. It's going to come out. Come on, sure. And we're just going to lay this down. Oops. And lay your first bit down. Now, I find it doesn't matter if it's not completely glued down because I actually quite like it when you've got bits, you know, flapping around and doing whatever they want to do and so the sewing version gives you a bit more of that so when you're gluing don't worry if it's not all stuck down as long as it's not um you know falling apart when you oh look at that that's not good it's anything fabri -Tac is it has the a will of its own sometimes and it just comes out when you don't want it to Right, now, what did we do? We had that bit down there. And we had, we had that bit across there. Yeah, so let's do this bit first. Oh, yeah. You're going to be a pain, aren't you? Okay, come on. There you go. <clears throat> it was not wanting to come out when you want it to. And yet it gushes out when you don't want it to. So we're just putting that glue down there. And putting this along here. You can always trim it up afterwards if you find you've got, you know, you've used two bigger pieces. I'm going to pop a bit of glue. Oh, come on. I know there's lots more in here still. Leave it on its side for a minute. And then we'll just put a bit more up here. And then we had this bit across the middle. Oop. Oops, I need to just put this, glue this bit down first. Where you've got overlapping pieces, um, just make sure you've got them covered. And you know, once it's dry, you can always go back and add more glue if you don't feel that you've got enough. On the, oh. I'm like, uh oh. Right. Oy. Now I'm just going to pop these flowers down here. Like that. So that is the front done. And then what I'm going to do oops, is let that one dry just for a minute. And I'll show you um, with these that I've already made how. Um, I do the backs on them now if it's a pocket um i try to um if it's just a pocket like this then you can just sew this in your journal or glue it in your journal like that but i'm gonna have this as um i think i'm gonna have this as like a with a paper clip um stuck onto the page so i want it a bit more sturdier so i just have some like brown cardstock here and all I'm going to do 
is rip a piece long enough. So we want it to about there. And oh, that's a bit long enough. We'll do it to about. Doesn't matter if it doesn't cover it completely. We just want the majority of it. Let's just take a bit more off this side. And then of course it's a journaling spot then and then you know the person can write on it um and put whatever they want. So we're just gonna ink this up around the edges. like so um i didn't take i don't know if you've been watching my other videos we do have a new cat called poppy and um just a little update i didn't get her to the vets the other day because she was a stray so we took her in and we need to get her checked over and think she's possibly pregnant um but because i only got her on sunday i didn't really want to stress her out by you know taking her to the vets so soon so i thought i'd let her you know, settle in, um, one second, settle in a bit more before I did that, so she's going today, so we do find out today, hopefully, um, you know, whether she's having babies or not, she said hello to the boys, but she's, um, got her own space at the moment, um, she's out in the conservatory with a heater on and a nice bed and she comes out into the living room and has a wand around um, and the boys have, you know, sort of said hello to her but I'm not sort of freaking her out just yet um, until we know what condition she's in um, but I will um, do a little video when she's feeling a bit better so you can <clears throat> all be introduced to her. <coughs> excuse me but it's sort of exciting in a way um we might have babies um so i'll let you know right okay so we're just going to put that on the back like that and this one um now some of them i've put pictures on some i might leave just like that so this one i'm not sure i mean we've got like little images on these ones I kind of, I don't know if I like it. Now, I've got little ephemera pieces, you know, little photos. Oh, see, that's cute though, isn't it? Um, oh, and that one's cute as well. Not feeling that one so much, or that one. Um, so these are just little photos. Um, but you know, really, you could put whatever you want on here. These kids are cute, right? Hmm, what do I want? What do I want? I can't make my mind up. <laughs> Oh, no, I like that one. Oh, I like that one. See, you just have to keep going until you find the one. Now, um, what I will do is just sew around those edges and um, put it on there. So what I'm going to do is put that one to one side, see what else we're going to have on those. Then I can go and sew them and come back and show you them. So let's put that one there for the minute. We've got this one that has dried a bit, so we're just going to cut this lace off just cut off your edges like so and then this is the, I do like this bit because it is you know finding a picture kind of like that one already don't I like that one oh, I don't know let's look for something different on this one too big Hmm. No. All right, let's have a look. All right, you've got a nice saying. Happiness is the natural flower of duty. Ah, oh, but that covers that up, doesn't it? So that's no good, you know. 
Maybe we should have a word one. Where are my words? Um, let me just grab my words because I've got a feeling they're over here, as they would be. Let's see if we can find a nice saying one to go on this one. Because I don't have um, so many word ones in there. Welcome the journey possibility. Now I do have a French. I'm do, I do have a couple of French journals. I quite like that actually. Um, J'adore. Nope. Oh, come on. Oh, I like that one as well. Live in the moment with love. Okay. Just seeing if there's any more French ones in here. Oh, that's a nice one. Right, for me, it's that one or that one, I think. So, let me... Put them back into there so we keep it I'm trying to be tidier I have this awful habit of getting things out and then uh, see I like that I think let's ink it up and see because sometimes that can make a difference as well let's ink both of these up and let's see because it's a bit white I think now, um, a little tip, this was Tracy Fox um, said to use a blusher brush, um, and I don't know if it was her idea, oh, that's a bit grubby now, we did too much on that, look, I've gone and messed it up, <laughs> okay, when you use your blusher brush, make sure you don't put too much on it, there you go, see, I did make mistakes. I will use it, I just, um, now I've made it a bit dark. That one looks good, so I think, let me see if I can rub it. No, no, I've just messed it up. No, it looks too dirty now. So yes, a blusher brush. Now, if you do it correctly and not like I did, um, and don't put too much on, it does, um, oh, it's not really a good example, Chanel, is it? And there's a bit of white here. If you just, um, you know, dip it in and that, it does cover it very lightly. Um, blush a brush. But do it properly, not like I did. Right, let's get this glue down. So I'm just going to glue this. like that and then we need to put a back um yeah because i'm going to do that as a tuck spot pocket thing as well so have i got a square bit oh look at that it's perfect 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 that was andy Now we might be able to use the blusher brush and just uh, I think it's um, you can't really see it because it's brown anyway. So we're just going to glue that down. I decided I was going to get a lot done today as <clears throat> yesterday was one of those days where I just didn't get much done. don't know why. And um, 
I was oh, just sorting out things in the craft room and got sidetracked and I got these new pull-out drawers because I, I have a lot of things in stacker boxes under my counter. But the trouble with that is if I want one thing from the bottom one, it's such a pain to pull them all out. So I've been and bought um, lots of pull-out drawer units and I've just been um, rearranging um, things. So... Um, Yes, oh, we have more productivity hopefully coming your way um, from this, but it's quite a big job. And I've been watching, um, oh, I can't remember the lady's name. Is it Marie? I'm not sure. I'll, um, excuse me, I watch so many videos, but it was um, Use It or Lose It, her videos were. And, oh my gosh, you know, really, we should all do that. You know, try and use something. If you don't use it, then lose it. And obviously with my, um, when I gave all that stuff away recently, I was kind of doing that, I suppose. Right, okay, so that's another one done. Look how adorable they are. And then we'll just get a paper clip and put them on. Very cute. Um, I'll do one more with you because I'm sure you've got, um, look at that one. That was like an applique flower now this one like i said it's all where you sew it it's got the ends ruffled and i quite like that actually so what do i want to do with this one um you see that would look quite nice actually sewn in as a pocket i think so what i'm going to do i'm actually going to um I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to sew that one in the journal as a pocket. I have done. Let me just show you. I have done a couple in these ones. <coughs> Excuse me if I can find it. Um, that one I have sewn one of these tuck spot pockets in like that. Some of them I've used them for belly bands, but um, that one is a tuck spot. So that one has one. And I think this one has, oh, that one has one as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll do another one with a pocket because we like variation. Um, a couple of them have belly band ones. Um, some of them are going to have tuck spots, but I want to put a bit of fabric in all of them. So that one um, needs to be sewn in. Um, this one needs to have that sewn and put on. And then I can show you that one. So we'll put them there. So um, that one needs to be a, a hang down, I think. So we'll do this one. So let's put the back on. Um, you know, really, these do not take long um, to do. I think the longest part is to, if you're going to use glue and you're gluing um, the lace on. I think that's the longest thing. The sewing is... is I think a bit quicker or a lot less messier I should say but still it doesn't take long if you're gluing them either so let's do this one and I'm I'm you know talking and doing this if I wasn't yakking and being sidetracked um we'd probably get more done so put your music on listen to Michael Bublé um or whoever it is um, you like listening to I do like a bit of buble I must admit he's actually on the X Factor this week I think can't wait to see him and missed him bless him right so that's that bit done and we just need do I like it that way around I think so we just need a little something something I keep coming back to that one don't I I never use it <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. No, no, nope, nope, nope. No, maybe we'll use something different. Let me see what we have in here. I have so many boxes of ephemera. Oh, Paris theme. Hmm. 
not so sure. Yep. Do you know it's weird? Sometimes you just find something and straight away that's it. That's the one you want. But other times you don't. Oh, yes, these memories put the me words in there, one well, might as well. No, no, no. No. We will find something in a minute. You just know when you find it, trust me. I do like these flower ones. Ah, oh, see? But what I'm going to do, actually, let's put these all back because I made a mess now. Oh, oh another word there. What I'm going to do, I think, is put a little bit of cheesecloth behind that um, just to pick it up a little bit, I think. So let me find a piece of cheesecloth. And I'm just going to cut this down to size. And then what I do is I just give it a little bit of distress so it's not too white. And I'm going to stick that on like that. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to go and sew those little bits and then I'll come back and we'll finish those off. So I'll just go and sew these and then I'll come back and show you. Right, okay, I have just sewn around that one and sewn around that one. And what I've done is I've just sewn the pocket one in to this journal. And this one's coming along quite nicely actually because it's got like a fabric flip there. Oops, you can see. And then it now has this gorgeous um, fabric pocket. So really pleased with that one. Um, that one is, I think, actually, this one is ready for the um, signatures now. So that's another one I have ready to... Um, it's finished with the sewing part of it. So that one is ready for signatures. So then I'll have four that have the signatures in. Right, okay, so all we've got left to do is to just glue these down. Now, of course, you can sew these on the fabric before you put them on the card, or you can sew them on, you know, you don't even have to sew them. Ooh. So, um, I like to sew them, but you don't have to. So I'm just going to plop that down like that, and then I'm going to... Oh, you know what I've not done? I didn't. Or did I? No, nope, I don't think I did. Quickly. Um, I forget sometimes to um, distress. Distress, distress, distress. I keep telling myself. Oh, come on, glue. There you go. Oh, we need a paper towel. So that one's that that's done now. So that's ready to go in the journal. And then we've just got this one left. The sewing was really squiff. It was hard. <laughs> I'm not very good. I don't know what's wrong with my sewing machine at the minute. I think I found an old bobbin that. Um, didn't necessarily go with the machine but I thought a bobbin was a bobbin but um, I don't think it's working as well as it normally does it's okay though um, but I'm going to change it before I do any more sewing so that is that let me clean that off because it's getting a bit gunky and um, that's basically all there is to making these fabric um, tags so these are the ones we've done today that's the one done with glue and as you can see they're just as pretty sewn or um, just glued and then you'll see how we use them in the journals they're just going to be used like I'll show you so for instance um, we could just put it there and glue down the two sides 
and then you have a tuck spot um, pocket there or you can actually sew it in as a pocket um, or you can just get a paper clip and clip it onto the paper on the pages so that is that and we will be putting those in I have a box now of um, goodies for the journals so let me show you where we're at so far so we've got these um, fabric um, pockets tuck spots I even did a little um, altered paper clip one um, like that and we have that one so we've got these now had these which were made the other day which were these book page um, little pocket um, pockets that you put a, say, a paper clip on and you do them I also have um, some little button cards which I um, have printed out and then sewn some buttons on that's for some of them just to go in some of the pockets um, and obviously I've got my book plate um, pockets in the front to go in I've also found these glassine bags that I made so I thought these would be quite nice in them as well and obviously you can tuck some goodies in them so we've got those to go in as well so we're coming along nicely um, so soon we'll be ready to just put the finishing touches on them doesn't take much so I'm going to finish these off camera because I have waffled on for quite a bit now and um, I shall see you all either later on today or tomorrow happy crafting bye